Hello everyone. So what we want to do in this video is we want to find the covariance and correlation of standard bivariate normal distribution. So we're going to begin with uh, listing the joint uh, probability density function um, for a bivariate normal distribution it has five parameters there are five parameters of the distribution because there are two variables or two variates uh, we're going to call them x y and uh, so we're going to have if you recall the parameters of a normal distribution are its mean the measure of center and standard deviation or the scale parameter now, because we have bivariate, so we got both of those, so that makes it four total. Plus, we also have what we call a correlation coefficient between the two variables. So here's a form of the probability distribution. It's going to be one over two pi, and then square root of one minus rho squared, where rho here is the coefficient of correlation. And then here's e2 x squared plus y squared negative 2 rho and then I'm going to put xy divided by 2 times 1 minus rho squared and we're going to put a rho here bounded between negative 1 and 1 so there's the PDF now again we want to find the covariance and correlation now if you look at the marginal distribution so the marginals of x and y so f of x here is going to be a familiar one over the square root of uh, 2 pi and then e to negative x squared over 2 and then the marginal distribution of variable y is going to be likewise 1 over the square root of 2 pi e to negative y squared over 2. Now remember for the standard uh, distribution mu of x mu y are zero uh, equal zero oh sorry about that equal zero and uh, the standard deviation is one so that makes the variance uh, one as well okay so that's going to be one now let's actually look at uh, the definition of correlation so correlation between two variables x y is defined as the ratio of covariance of x y uh, over square root of uh, the variances sigma squared x times sigma squared y some put sigma x sigma y either way would work now remember correlation is when you standardize uh, a normalizing uh, covariances and that's that's how we get this so covariance of x y and we just said that because these are standard normal the deviation and hence the variances are one so in the case of bivariate standard standard normal distribution correlation and covariances turn out to be the same so we're going to establish that right away so if, if we, all we need to do is just find one if we found the other so that's going to equal to the covariance of x comma y okay now what we need to do now is actually um, because we're going to use the uh, marginal distribution so i need to um, work with uh, another form of covariance here okay now the definition the formal definition of covariance of two random uh, between two random variable is given by expected value of x minus the mean of x the random variable x that is times y minus the mean or expected value of the random variable y now again uh, we mentioned earlier that because we're working the standard normal uh, that both means are zero so in this case um, that's going to be zero and that's going to be zero so this reduces to simply expected value of x y and this is just for the case of a standard bivariate standard normal distribution now again the, what this amounts to is finding the expected value of x y 
And to do that, we're going to use the joint probability distribution function and the definition of expectation here. So it's going to be xy and then times the joint PDF f of xy and then dy dx. Okay. And because, uh, again, the domain of uh, standard normal distribution, the marginals is negative infinity to infinity, therefore that uh, sets the limits of integration for us. Okay, so now let's actually proceed with integration here. So we go negative infinity to infinity and then negative infinity to infinity of xy and then the marginal distribution, I'm sorry, the joint distribution was uh, 2 pi square root of 1 minus rho squared. I'm just copying what I had earlier for the joint distribution, negative x squared plus y squared, negative 2 rho xy, all over 2 times 1 minus rho squared. Okay, and of course we have dy dx here. Okay, our next step, what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, complete the, the squared here. Okay, so completing the square, so um, we're looking at the, the exponent here. And we're going to complete the square. So to complete the square, I'm going to go x squared. I'm going to complete the square in y. So that means we're going to uh, group y squared negative 2 rho y together like that okay now if you remember from back in algebra days uh, sorry there's x there also it's gonna be, I'm missing an x there um, the way to complete the square is in y in this particular case is we're gonna look at the coefficient on y term and uh, we're gonna add one half of um, 2 rho x quantity squared. Okay, of course it's negative, but you square it becomes positive. So that's, if you want, there you go, you can put negative here. So we're going to cross the twos out here. So this is going to be uh, rho squared x squared. True. So that's the quantity that's going to get added. Therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as x squared plus y squared negative 2 rho xy plus rho squared x squared minus rho squared x squared okay and right there we have a perfect square trinomial and from the other two terms i'm going to factor the x squared so doing so we get x squared 1 minus rho squared and then the completed form of this trinomial that i have underlined is going to be y minus the one half of the coefficient which was rho x quantity squared and there you go we have completed the square now remember the denominator here right the denominator here we have uh, 2 times 1 minus rho squared so I'm just gonna uh, write this as over 2 times 1 minus rho squared that's just the entire exponent now that's this whole thing now okay but we only completed the square in y in the numerator of that fraction okay and then what I can do next is right in here I'm going to split this into two fractions one using x squared the other one using y so the first one is going to be uh, x squared over 2 because uh, the binomial 1 minus rho squared crosses out plus y minus rho x quantity squared uh, divided by 2 times 1 minus rho squared. Okay, so we have that. And then that's what I'm going to use in the exponent now, in the integrand right in here. That's what I'm going to use. Okay. <clears throat> Therefore, the integral becomes that of uh, the integral from negative infinity uh, to infinity. And uh, uh, let's see. 
okay well, let me do this uh, I'm gonna split that integral into two parts so the next integrand I'm gonna hold off on that so this is the outside integral so I move the X in outside I brought the X here <coughs> okay so and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write this as one over I'm working on the fraction uh, write it as oops sorry I don't know what happened here I'm gonna write it as one over the 2 pi I have I'm, I'm gonna split it into two factors of square root of 2 pi and then e to negative x squared over 2 in other words uh, I'm splitting remember there's x squared over 2 here so using properties of exponent I'm gonna split the exponent I'm using this property e to the x e to the y is e to the x plus y right so uh, since I have some form of a uh, addition in the exponent I'm just gonna write it as product of two exponents so that's that's what I'm doing right now uh, and having done that I'm going to write this as negative infinity to infinity of then I still have a y and then 1 over the square root of 2 pi and then of course the binomial 1 minus rho squared okay and then times uh, e to negative I uh, hope I can fit everything here 1 minus rho x squared 2 1 minus rho squared and then dy sorry about the crammed situation here let me move this over dy and then there is a dx for the outside integrand for this one okay and then I'm gonna move that x squared to the end that I just erased <laughs> okay and there it is let's see here now okay now if we look inside the bracket here right in here in the integrand of the second integral and this is simply the expected value of y because remember this y times the density function so all of this this portion again is going to be expected value of y and then the integrand actually we recognize this as uh, the density function of a normal distribution whose mean is uh, rho x and variance is 1 minus rho squared right again if you look at this part that's in the form y uh, minus mu y over sigma y in that construct in that form okay so because uh, so this is simply the expected value of that now expected value of y therefore that's the expected value of y so expected value of y is simply going to be rho x so this entire integral this integral is going to be rho x okay good now we can move on to the rest of our work so this is simply going to be the integral from negative infinity to infinity of x times 1 over square root of oops sorry 1 over square root of 2 pi e to negative x squared over 2 times rho x dx okay now uh, next I'm gonna factor the row outside of the integral so this is simply gonna be row the integral from negative infinity to infinity of x squared that's x by x right that's gonna be x squared times 1 over square root of 2 pi then e to negative uh, x squared over 2 dx okay now if you look at the integrand now this itself is going to be what is going to be expected value uh, of x squared right and that's what the integrand is 
the unexpected value of x squared is negative infinity uh, to infinity uh, of x squared times fx dx, right? That's what that is, so it's in that form. The density function is that of standard normal distribution. So uh, we are almost done with this. Therefore, this is going to be rho times expected value of x squared. And expected value of x squared is 1. We established that earlier. Let me go back up. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, we haven't established that one. Let me show you why that is 1. Okay. If you remember the definition of variance, sigma squared x. Uh, I'm sorry. I got these backwards. Okay. Sigma, random variable x squared uh, is defined as expected value of x squared minus expected value of x quantity squared, right? Well, for standard normal distribution, the variance is 1, expected value of x squared squared. Expected value of x squared is what we want, and expected value of x, the mean is 0. So from this, we know that expected value of x squared is 1. So that's how I got the one that's in here. Okay. And this is simply going to be rho. Okay. So what we just found was that expected value of x, y is rho. Okay. And this is, this is all the work that leads to that. All right. Now, uh, let's actually find the correlation. So therefore the correlation remember we established this fact correlation and the covariances are the same which is equal to now expected value of x y and that's going to be rho so it's interesting in a standard bivariate normal distribution the parameter rho is the correlation and covariance of the two variables and that's what we wanted to do so we want to find that and we did so with this we are done with with this video